Tim, here's another challenge. You knocked it out of the park showing that you can really migrate a VM from an Intel-based server to an AMD-based server. Tell us how this demonstration is going to be different. So we're going to take this demonstration to the next level. Um, we're going to use something that's fairly common today uh, in the data center with virtualization, and that's setting up a high availability system using virtualization. We're going to use an Intel-based platform as a primary server and use an AMD Opteron-based platform as the secondary or backup server. And we'll show you how if you lose connectivity or if you lose power or if uh, the Intel-based server goes down, those, those virtual machines will be migrated to the Opteron server, brought back up for minimal downtime in the data center. Well, is there anything we need to know about the configuration? The configuration is pretty standard. It's, we're going to use VMware vSphere. We're going to use its high availability solution with that as that solution. Um, and it's a pretty standard configuration now in, in today's data centers. Well, how are we going to accomplish this? We're going to just show you something very simply. We're going to lose connectivity. We're going to lose network connectivity on the system itself. So there'll be no longer access to the network. The, the system will recognize that and then start its, its backup procedure. Great. Well, are we ready? I think we are. So as before, we've got two servers running. We've got an Intel-based server sitting over here, and we've got our AMD, which is going to act as our backup server. We're going to essentially unplug the network connectivity. In this process, we've got the virtual machine moving now, being directed to run on the AMD Opteron server. And you can see the IP address here uh, has now switched over to the AMD server. And shortly, you'll see the virtual machine start up, and we should see the video. So to recap, we demonstrated high availability with VMware vSphere using an Intel-based server as the primary server and an AMD-based server as the backup. We suspended the VMs by disconnecting the network connectivity on the Intel-based system and immediately the VMs were migrated to the AMD-based server.